Welcome to Maxed Out PC TV. As you can see, I have a quadcopter, and this quadcopter is by the company called DJI. Now, uh, this is the Phantom 2. This is the entry level. Well, they do have a Phantom 1 as well. But um, I, all I could say about this is I was meant to do an unboxing and, and all that. But as you can see, with when it comes to these sort of things, I just get straight out and want to fly it. So that's, that's exactly what I did do. Um, when you get this, it, um, let me see, what can we talk about first? Let's talk about the battery first. Now, battery is by uh, DJI, it's Phantom 2 battery. It's obviously different from the Phantom 1 battery. The Phantom 1 battery is definitely different. This is an intelligent battery. This is a 52,000 milliamp battery. Um, basically, you've got a light here, you've got to press a button here, and you get a red light here, and it tells you I've got 100%. So going down, set fire 50, and then 25, you're gonna to need to be bringing it home. Red light to say that it needs to be indicated. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So plug it in here. Underneath the back here. Plug it in. Simple as that. And we press the power button once and then again. And we have lights and indication. We turn on the, um, the uh, remote control, and you just basically you can bend it like that, so it's all all right for travel. And up, and it's like that, and it's solid. Right, the lights that you're looking at right now are it's trying to find GPS. When it what you do is um, when I first got this, I didn't realise you had to do all of this, so. You pick it up, and you've got to go 360 degrees uh, to your left or right. I can't remember which way it is. I think it's 360 degrees to your left, and then you've got to drop it down like that, and then it's 360 degrees to your left, like to your right as well. And you come back to the normal person that's holding the controller while flicking this up, going up like that six times, and then it will stop. It will go yellow, and then you turn it down, like as I said, like that, and then you do it again for on 60 degrees, going up and down, and then you hold it into GPS position. And after that, it will go yellow, then green, and then it will flash uh, like this, and then it will find the green GPS. It will go did -did 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 really quickly, and then it's ready to fly. And that means you're calibrated. Now the calibration to this is is it's amazing. Um, Wherever you calibrate it, it is perfect. It lands within less than half a meter to to where you um, calibrate it. It's so perfect. It comes with brushless um, motors all inside here. It also comes with uh, eight propellers. You get two silver ones and two black ones. They and they they lock themselves, so you can just on. You got like a tool. They, they give you a tool as well. You put a tool in. And you hold that there and you just spin it on and it's locked, it's done. That's how quick it is. And it's all um, it's colour coded, so you've got silver, silver, black, black, and they would rotate differently. And obviously you've got the power on the back there. I'm gonna move the controller out of the way so I don't try and take my head off. Um, on the front here, you have um, a cable and you connect this up by USB to a computer and you can program it exactly however you want it. You can uh, program the controller as well underneath underneath the uh, handset. Um, I'm going to turn it off in a sec because I want to show you the controller, but I'll come back to that in a sec. And all the other glorious stuff that it does. Um, it's got nice little vents, so you can vent all the heat out. It sound it hovers amazingly. It is so 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 really good it's ridiculous you have to get one uh, to know what I'm talking about I have video footage anywhere of me flying this and you can see for yourself how really good it is it's so really worth the money um, I purchased a gimbal separately so um, it stabilizes the camera uh, as you can see I can go like that and it stabilizes the camera this is a GoPro uh, Black Edition camera, and uh, the whole thing just stabilizes. All electronic, it's uh, no soldering, no nothing like that. Just straight in there, and you're away. You know. Um, oh, what else is there? Um, 
Yeah, so this is all electronic, and I, this is what I want to show you with the controller. With the controller, as you can see, it's on. If you look at the GoPro Black Edition down the bottom, I can move this on the controller, and it pans down, and then it pans up. But I can pan it to however I want it while I'm flying. So it's as simple as that. And I'm going to turn off the actual device. So it doesn't chop my head off. And as you can see, it's all floppy and doesn't do what it's meant to do. <laughs> but so that's what that's for. As soon as you turn it on, it recognizes it. And even better, it even uh, powers the actual GoPro itself, all from uh, the actual quadcopter. Now this weighs about two, maybe two and a half, maybe three kilos. And you can imagine it is really powerful. So I've got my little camera there. I can go up to 4K if I want to, but I normally just do it in 1080p. 1080p is fine. So on the controller, this is a 2.4 gigahertz um, controller, RC controller. So you've got GPS, and a GPS, outstanding. The whole thing is outstanding. Um, you can program um, the two other control settings there when you link it up to computer. And you've got uh, home lock and course lock and off. So you can fly it without GPS if you want to, if, you, if you're brave enough, which I'm not. And you can fly it in, at the moment, the video I'm going to show you, I've been flying it in novice. And you would think it was like advanced. I haven't tried to fly it in advanced level, don't think I'm going to yet. I'm going to give it a bit of time. Now, on normal controllers, it normally starts off down there, then you kind of gradually go up. So you can actually fly it. And uh, it's in this position. So what you do is you press it down like that, left to the right, and that starts the engines. Then you can let go of it, and then you just go and it flies up and it hovers there and it's perfect. Now uh, this is to rotate, you can go left, actually, and let me think. Left, no. This is the one that goes left and right so it rotates round or you rotate that round 360 degrees and then you've got uh, forward so this would be going forward, backwards, left, right so that's what that's for now all I can say is now I think oh yeah before I go any further actually it put four double A batteries in the back One big battery in the front. It's 2.4 gig, uh, uh, gigahertz receiver, and it also can fly up to 25 minutes. And obviously, it's got warning lights. When you're flying up in the air, it comes up. Obviously, it's green. Got GPS. If you're flying with GPS, and also I've flown this in the dark and everything. I can see it perfectly. And when it's about to die, you've got red lights. You can see from about two, three hundred meters in the air, so it's really, really, really good. Um, what else do I talk about? Um, so it flies up to twenty-five minutes. Um, got a gimbal on there that you can buy separately. You can buy the gimbal separately, or you can buy it with it. This I opted with because I can use the GoPro, which I think is better than the Phantom Two Vision. You can also get the goggles, the fax, uh, shark glasses, you can have first person view, you can fly it as far as you want and everything like that. But you take a look at this video and then you tell me what you actually think of this aircraft by DJI. And this is the entry level.
you're lucky. If that was a little bit longer, I would, you would have got a good battery. There. Yeah, I'm going to try and fly over there and back. Really? Yeah. What, on that? Yeah. If it's red, I won't fly on the seat. Hey friends, there's still not enough battery there. So uh, that's a bit, uh, just going to 25%. So that's between 50 and 25%. There's a flight over there and back, isn't it? So not, I like, don't mean like that site where I can't see the damn thing. No, it's not just green. It's not green, it's not green. But it's green. Let's see if it stays green. So if you thought this video was helpful and useful and you liked it, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to this video uh, as it helps me out a bunch and I'm going to be making so, more, bleh, gonna be making so many more videos of the DJI um, Phantom uh, 2 because I love it. Um, and thanks for watching.